Hey, what's everybody? So we're going to do custom keyboard shortcuts in Corel Painter 2018. Um, I just did a video for Photoshop. It's important that we show you how to do the same thing in Corel because you're definitely going to want to change some of the keyboard shortcuts. Um, I usually shift most of them to match Photoshop, but not all of them because there are a few keyboard shortcuts in Corel that actually uh, like better. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into it and let's go right now. Peace. Okay, so let's talk about the keyboard shortcuts and how to create them. First thing is this. I had a student ask me this week, how do you change the keyboard shortcut for the eraser uh, to make it match Photoshop? Okay, so usually the letter E, like in Eric, is the eraser tool. In Corel, it's the letter N, like in Nancy. I prefer letter N, and let me tell you why. If you look at your keyboard, there's the letter B, like in boy, and then there's the letter N. They're right side by side. B takes you to the paintbrush. N is right next to it. It allows you to erase. They have it so you're just toggling between the two fingers instead of having to extend and reach out. What's nice about this is I don't have to break my view from what I'm doing on the computer. I keep my fingers down on the keyboard and I don't have to uh, look up. I love that, okay? Versus B, I do have to pay attention and look for the E. I thought that was uh, really clever what they did in the programming for this but it is not user friendly or well it's user friendly but it's not intuitive because we're naturally going to think it's going to be letter e there's one more keyboard shortcut they have here a letter v if you tap letter v what that will do it allows you to go from point to point okay if you hit return it'll close it if you go from point to point and hit the letter v again it stops your line so that's the straight line tool so all of these uh uh, controls right here can be modified and uh, re, uh, redistributed to another key if you want it. Most of those right there I, I spoke of are the ones that I'm going to keep uh, because I like, but let me show you how to change it uh, because you guys are, might want to shift that out. So let's go ahead and me just uh, select all, delete that so it's not distracting. We're going to go ahead and navigate up to Corel Painter 2018. We're gonna go down to preferences and then we have custom keys, okay? So you can see the keyboard shortcut for this, command option, and we have a comma. So let's just go ahead and click on this. Now we have a dialog box that comes up, okay? Now, how do you do this? So if you come in here, you'll see underneath here, we have shortcuts for application menus, palette menus, tools, and others, okay? Application menus, this is pretty much um, the menu bar up top, the application, just like in Photoshop. If you go to palette menus, it's all of your palettes on the side, okay? I keep saying palette because I go back and forth between Corel and uh, Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop call it panels. Um, so here, if you look, you'll see pretty much anything that's inside of the panels or palettes, you'll be able to add a custom keyboard shortcut for it. So let's say, for example, let's go to tools. Okay, so we come here, we can scroll down, and you'll see that the eraser tool right now is set to letter N. So all you have to do is go ahead and select it, tap E, and you're gonna see it says already used by rotate page. So if you come here, you can go ahead and accept or you can also apply and reassign. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply and reassign and then rotate page. Maybe I would make that the letter in now if you want it. Um, so that's one way. So now we have that set up, okay? We also can, well, let's just go through here. So you can see we have a few other tools that you might want to adjust, okay? So we have the letter B for brush. We saw the brush line, which is the letter V. So if you want to change that. Uh, toggle snap to path. That's another tool that I'll dive into a little bit later. But I do have a keyboard shortcut for that uh, on my own uh, unique uh, keyboard shortcuts. Um, let's go in here and let's say, let's go to other. 
Okay, so if you go into other, there's a lot of other commands and controls that are inside of uh, Corel that are not readily available to you uh, in the menu bar or the applications menu. And you can go in here and you could start modifying these. Okay, so if we come down here to set opacity, when we click on this, this is going to change the opacity of your brush by typing one, it'll go to 10%, uh, two to 20%. You can change this to be any number you want, okay? Um, but this is an example of some of those extra little controls that you're gonna to wanna to use or create custom keys for, um, and you'll come in here to find them. So whenever you're looking for something that you can't find any place else, I always dive into other and see if I can find it, okay? So let's go ahead and, well actually, yeah. Okay, so that's other. We have tools, palette menus. We can come in here. So you can see new layer. That's the same thing as Photoshop. We also have a bunch of different other uh, layer types in Corel. And so you'll notice there are no, there are not keyboard shortcuts for these. So you'll definitely want to apply them because you're going to want to need them. So if you're going to use watercolor layers, liquid ink layers, and new thick paint layers, uh, you want to shift that in there. So if I'm looking at this, how would I go about it? If I know that I'm going to do command shift letter in for new layer, I'm probably going to do command shift L for the uh, new watercolor layer. Now it's telling me that it's used for dry watercolor layer. Okay, so I might change that uh, and, and shift the other one. So I could apply and reassign or just hit accept. So let's see if I go to new liquid ink layer. Actually, you know what? Let me go back. Let's do command shift W for this one, accept. And then come down here, do this one as the L for liquid ink layer. And then this one, let's see, let's try command option T and add current color to your, this is fine for that. Um, and then I would click okay. All right, so let's see how these things work. So if I'm over here, if I do command shift L, new liquid ink layer, command shift W, watercolor layer. Command shift in, which is pretty much your new layer. Okay, so now if I'm over here and I'm actually, let's go back to brush, okay. So if I wanted to now go to the eraser, if I tap the letter E, now it's my eraser tool. So that's how you're gonna customize all of these keys, uh, keyboard shortcuts. So let me show you one last thing that it is important in here. So we're gonna go back up here Preferences, keyboard shortcut. Now, when you make a all of the a keyboard shortcut for all of these things that you wanna save it out, you'll go ahead and hit save. And you can save this to wherever you want, desktop, um, which is usually where I have it, or sometimes I'll have a Corel backup folder. And so here you would give it a name. It's important that you keep the extension .pks on this. If it's not on there, this will not open, okay? So you wanna make sure you have a pen file extension on, otherwise it will not open. Now, go ahead and save that out, okay? Now, you'll also want to see this. If you were to open, you could click open, and you'll see it's right here, demo, test.pks, if I click open, it'll now come in, okay? Um, you could do new, and that would allow you to create a new file as well. You can also hit defaults, reset, everything's pretty straightforward here. One last tiny little detail here. If you see this export to HTML, what this is, it's going to allow you to get a summary of the keyboard shortcuts that you have here. So if I hit uh, demo summary.html, excuse me, let's click OK. Now what I'm going to do is navigate desktop and we're just gonna go to .html, double click on this. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna open up a Corel Painter uh, keyboard shortcut summary. Scroll through and it's gonna show everything that you have. 
So it's a great way to learn the keyboard shortcuts that are already in Corel. This is also gonna allow you to, if you forget any of the keyboard shortcuts, you're gonna be able to go through here and find, um, to find the one that you previously used, okay? So with that said, we're just gonna move on and dive into the next tutorial. So again, if you found this helpful, please go ahead and hit subscribe below, hit the bell button. Um, we're gonna just keep driving home these tutorials until we get them all knocked out on how to master Curl Painter. Um, and then after that, we're just gonna spend a lot of time painting. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, if I get, uh, let's say burned out on doing these, I may slip in a painting or two uh, just so I keep myself kind of invigorated and excited about doing this whole process. So uh, stick with me and we're going to keep going. So deuces until next time.